Hey all, thank you for joining in. In this video I'm going to show you how to update a table from a list. Update in the sense um, to add values um, from, from that are coming from a list. So just imagine the scenario you have a table where you have um, material numbers in the first column and on the second column you have quantities and say uh, imagine in a scenario that you want to group um, uh, sales value that are read from a list where you have um, same material number occurred multiple times from different systems for, for example and you want to uh, group by material number um, group uh, group the sales value uh, by material number. So in uh, in so in the first six uh, I mean in the first um, wave you see the initial values you have already stored in the table. Uh, the material number occurs only once. Uh, there are no duplicates and the quantity and you get um, for example an SAP output in the form of visual basic script and you have an output uh, the daily um, um, separated value this can be commas or, or whatever the, the daily meter is um, in, the, in the list you get uh, first row uh, the first value is the material number and the second value is the sales amount of this the material so in this list you have uh, material number 2 value 10 material number 1 value of 10 and the third row you also have the material number 1 with value of 10 and after this update is done the this table should look like this you have any material number 1 you have initial 10 and there are two 10s coming from from this list for the material number 1 and these these two 10s are added to the initial value after that it should show uh, the total value of the material number one is 30 and you have material number two um, there are 10 10 already exist in the table and after that uh, the total value is material num uh, total value is 20 right so um, first of all we need to go through each line of this um, list and store this uh, and look in the table what if there is a, if there is a value exists if yes and then it should add whatever the value which is here with the value that coming from the list so to do that you have to loop through this list and you need to sort of like reorganize the list to update the table I couldn't find any other way of doing it um, if there are if, if you know any other way just I'm happy to know about it but until then so uh, until then I have to use this uh, method so as you can see I read the list uh, first and then create a, another list which contains the value which are separated with this um, vertical line um, and loop through this list right so after uh, after I convert this list uh, first row uh, and separate uh, it to uh, two different rows that means the material number two in this list would be the first row and the value after the separator is, is in the second row so I do that each um, records on this list and after only that I can update this table right so let's see um, how I have done that in the in the power to meter example so first of all I create um, the list with some dummy values and so once I once I run this and, and the table also with some initial values right so if I run this As you can see, I create a list with 
um, um, vertical line separated um, two values in, in per row, right? First value is the material number, and the second value is, is the quantity or sales value. Um, there are some uh, initial values contained in the table as well. Um, met, um, two columns. First one is material number, and the second one is quantity. And um, so the material in this case, the material number uh, occurs only once. There are no duplicates, right? So yeah, uh, yes. So this could be a scenario of summing up or grouping up value based on the material number or, or quantity per material, right? So that's first part. Then, um, then I create um, the I look through as I mentioned before I look through the each item in this list and create a separate uh, uh, list called text list with each row of the previous list that's this and then now this is the interesting part now I'm um, with this function I'm searching the material number I found on the list in the table for that I'm using find or replace in data table and let me stop it right there to show you this function as you can see I'm searching the value in the in the data table right search mode is fine and then text to find is the value that is coming from the text list on the first row remember in uh, power automotive desktop the values are uh, rows are starting from zero so the first row will be the so row number zero and then search where in this table on the column called material number and that is this column right so I'm searching this value in this column and the output with this um, uh, with this uh, that this function produce is um, a row and column um, of the found value and yes let me show you that as well so that is okay here we go and measure on the phone so it says the material number of uh, the, the the material number that we have searched is found in the row one and the column zero of in of the table so if you go back to the table uh, we are looking for the material number two because that's the first um, first line in this list so row one and the column zero right so that's what this output is row one column zero so so now i need to know um i need to know the uh, the the value existing value of this um column zero that means if there is a value then i, I need to know that so that i can add existing value with the new value right add two so to do that i'm the next line I set a, the I create a variable so to get the existing value in the table so and this is as I told you the previous function it will output the row and column number from that I'm getting only the I'm interested only in the column number right because so so that is the uh, and then to do that i sort of like um there are two um 
to two values in that uh, output function row and the column and I'm getting only the column number and to do that you have to uh, sort of like declare the, the values like this material number found that's a variable um, and in the in the serial column and what is the row number of it so this should output the uh, row number one because material number two is found in the row number one so okay so that's that and then I need to with by using that row number um, I need to get the uh, existing value uh, in uh, with quantity if there is any in the column number one so to do that so you, to do that I need to um, So, current row value, there's another variable I'm creating, current um, row value. And in this variable, the, I pass the material number found in the row, material number found row. That means I need to pass the material, uh, the row uh, number of the previous function. So this, now this is very important. I, I was struggling with this function. This needs to be a number variable. If you pass in string variable, it, this is not working, right? So that's the reason why I'm converting the number, uh, material number found row, which I'm storing in this uh, variable, uh, to a text. Uh, sorry, this will pass a text variable and I'm converting text to number. That's very important, otherwise it won't work. Now there's another way of doing it. If you want to skip this step, um, there's another way of converting um, string to, I mean, text value to um, number is adding a zero here like this. This will do the same. This will, um, this will get this string variable um, a text variable and then convert it to a number this should work as well then you can um, sort of like you, you don't have to use uh, um, convert text to number here so explanation sake I have um, inserted that here as well so after you do that then the rest is very straightforward then what I do is then I get the I create a second uh, this variable I get the current row value which is this one right and then I'm adding it to the value coming from the list so that's what I'm doing here so current rule value right and the, the value for that material that I'm reading from the list and I'm adding it with the plus so uh, be careful if you um, add numbers you have to declare like that i mean the percentage symbol should be either side of the variables and the variables in uh, um, and uh, the the mathematical operator should be in between the variable without any percentage symbol right and here uh, the material number found rule which is this variable right and the column I know, um, column number one, that is this one. So that is, now in this case, um, the column one, column number one. And I'm adding the found value in the list to the column number one of the table. So, so to show you this in the action. So now 
the table contains the values that are updated from the list. That's it. Um, if you have any question, if I explain something, explain something not clear or not clear enough, um, so please let me know. Or please write on the comments. I'll try to um, answer your questions. Thank you very much. Have fun. Bye bye.